Bar Gardens on the road of Merseyside, just over the River Mersey from that great city, Liverpool. 29th of March, a little bit of sun making everybody happy, and I'm going to reorganise Chicken City. So, I'm in the process now of actually doing my little small pen for the uh, Polish chamois and the, uh, the silkies that I've got off Chris. So I'm actually um, reorganising their hut. What I've done here is I've put the actual uh, the chicken hut on little stilts to take it off the ground. <laughs> I've just shortened them down to get the right height to go over there and that pen over there. So uh, I'll do that and I'll set it all up in place. All right. All right, now I've got the hen house set up. Put it in the place I want, in the pen, and I'm now constructing a pen. Chicken wire around the outside, and a netting around the top to get to stop, to actually stop them getting out. It actually doesn't stop the fox getting in, but they're locked up of the night anyway, so uh, I've had no trouble up to now that way, and I've had them three years, so. Well, it's turned out a lovely day today. Me and grandson Nathan come up and give me a hand, so. I've got quite a lot done, uh, and I'm really made up. So I'll just say, uh, take you, just show you exactly what we've done. We've got the little ones, all the uh, the fluffies and the uh, the chamois, holy chamois, now in their own little hut, and they seem to be quite pleased. Actually, they've been going in and out. I've built them a little ramp to get up to, nesting round. Everything done. So all I need to do now is a little bit of tidying up and that'll be me for the day. I put all the uh, the big chickens together in the big pen now. There's Donald, we call him Donald, the great big one. We call this Donald's crew. I've even, put, uh, I've even put new handles on the doors for them, so to make it easy for the wife to uh, to open, put some shut, and the same with the tray at the bottom. Made it a lot easier. I put a little bit of pallets down as well to make it look like a deck, and I might actually put decking boards on top of it, so you can move around because it's very, very uh, waterlogged here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the ground. So that's why I've raised that uh, hutch up, or coop as they're called, uh, above the ground so it's, it's not in the water or unpleasant for the actual uh, the chickens. This is just walking around the other side. I think he's made up with his uh, with his new hutch anyway. Or Coopers will keep uh, getting it wrong. <laughs> he's he's standing by the door, welcome everybody in, aren't you? Hey, what's that saying? Don't sit by the fireside drinking little drops of gin. Stand by the door and welcome everybody in. That's what he's doing. Come on, gang. Come and have a look at what we've got. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at how I've tried to make my chickens a little bit more comfortable in their new 